Can you tell me something about what was happening before you came to the hospital? How have you been feeling? I've irritated so many people and went so far that I can't go back to anything. What do you mean? Are there people causing problems for you? What's the matter, Bill? Are you hearing voices? Yes. What are they saying? Can you tell me what they're saying to you? Bring that faggot son of a bitch back here to Indianapolis where it all started and let's finish it here. Whose voices are they? Do you know who might be saying that to you? No, not for sure. Do you have any ideas? Who do you think it might be? I'm not sure. The head of the KKK, maybe, or the county sheriff. Do you know why they might want to bring you back to Indianapolis? because I started to tell them some things. But before I could tell them that, they brought me here. What had you started to tell them? About what might be a murder, an unsolved murder. Hmm. Can you tell me about it? Yes. It was about eight years ago. I don't want to implicate other people, but they're going to have to answer. Everybody, for everything they've done, they're going to have to come out and tell it like it is. Take whatever's coming to them. So can you tell me what happened eight years ago? I think it was about eight years ago. I'm not sure. I was at my mother's house washing the car that belonged to my dad. And these guys pulled up in a van. Harold Shipley, Jim Tufford, and a guy that calls himself Killer Diller. His real name, I'm not sure. Anyway, we got in the car. Where we were going for sure, I don't even know. I can't remember. We didn't have any money, and we picked up this kid who was hitchhiking. And I was in the back of the van with this guy that I don't remember his name. We started to drive on, and this guy just took his fist and just hit the kid like that. And he says, give me your money. I think the kid had a dollar on him. Did you hit him? No. But you think he might have been murdered? I don't know. He might have been. We immediately thought, well, we can't let him out here. He'd recognize the van if we'd drive away and the police find him. So we had to take him somewhere and let him out. And what happened? The guy in the back with me covered the kid's head with a blanket. And we drove out of town across the river. And Harold stopped the van, and we just pushed the kid out the back doors. Was he alive when he left the van? I don't know. So this is a story you tried to tell the police, but you weren't able to convince them before you were brought here? Yes. 
and you think they want to get you back to get the whole story? We've got to get things straightened out once and for all. I have to tell them the whole story. I've set myself up for it. What do you mean? Bill, are you hearing voices again? Yes. What are they saying now? I feel like everybody's saying, give that son of a bitch the worst torture you can give him. Whatever it is, and give it to him without any sedatives. Cut him up in pieces or whatever. Burn him or whatever. He's the sickest, no good son of a bitch that ever walked the face of the earth. Is anything else different about the way things look and sound and feel. Have you had any other unusual sensations? The smell of myself rotting away. What part of your body is rotting? All of it. Do you know why? Why is your body rotting? Is there someone talking to you now, Bill? Yes. What are they saying? They're saying, tell the truth, tell the whole damn truth. Hmm. Do you know if some specific part of your body is rotting? My mouth is rotting, inside of it, my gums. Do you know why? Do you know what's causing it? I believe I contracted a disease from oral sex, both men and women. Why do you think it's from oral sex? Because I think that's the dirtiest, filthiest thing you can do. And you did it? Yes. What's really wrong, Bill? I don't know. I wish someone would tell me. It looks like I'm just going to slowly rot away. I can't figure it out. Have I set myself up for this, or am I being set up for it? Do you think someone set you up for it? Sometimes I think God himself set me up for it. Why would he do that? Why would he set you up for it? To put an end to all lecherous people. How would that happen? By the end of me being publicly broadcast. What do you mean by the end of you? Is that your death? Yes. Do you think about your death a lot? Constantly. Do you ever think about harming yourself? Yes. Do you have a plan? No set plan. I just wish these voices would stop.